Okay, boys and girls, this is the final chapter of Mayor Mo and the dilemmas of his city. Again, keep in mind our lines of inquiry. Local governments work to promote the common good. As you're listening to this story, ask yourself, is Mayor Mo's decision promoting what is good for all? Or is it promoting what is good for one person or a small group of people? Next, think about this. Laws and regulations promote order and security. Does Mayor Mo's law or rule in this next chapter make things safe and more secure? Think about those things while you listen. Mayor Mo's dilemma. Stop and think, what might this chapter be about using the title? One morning, Mayor Mo was shuffling through the papers on his desk. Among the flyers and old newspapers, he found a bright green envelope addressed in fancy handwriting. Inside was an invitation. Dear Mayor Mo, I am very pleased to announce the opening of my wonderful new store, Greens, Greens for Greens. This unique story sells only green things to green creatures. Even though you are orange, because you are the mayor of the city, we would be delighted to have you join us on Saturday to celebrate our grand opening. There will be delicious green snacks for all. Your friend, Mr. Green. Snacks? exclaimed Mayor Mo. Here I come. This, that Saturday morning, Mayor Mo, all brushed and polished, was standing expectantly at the door with a long queue of green creatures behind him. Welcome, welcome, Mayor Mo, said Mr. Green, opening the door at last. Let me show you around my wonderful store. We have everything a green creature could want. Green clothes, green shoes, green vegetables, green cheese, green wigs. Why, anything and everything we sell is beautifully green. What's that? asked Mayor Mo, pointing to a fuzzy green square hanging on the wall. Why, that's a portrait of the Queen of Granaria on her lawn. Very nice, mumbled Mayor Mo as he quietly spit out an awful tasting green snack and tried to hide it in a potted plant. Wandering around the store, admiring the large green striped underwear, Mayor Mo noticed a sign. In large letters were the words, help wanted. Are you looking for sales help, Mr. Green? Asked Mayor Mo excitedly. I know just the sales bird for you. My neighbor, Miss Pinkster, lost her job when sneeze tins closed. She was the best sales bird they ever had. Why, she even sold shoes to a snake. Two pairs. Please bring her in, Mayor Mo, said Mr. Green. She sounds like just the ticket. Stop and ask yourself this question, just like we practiced earlier in the week. What may happen when Mayor Mo brings in Miss Pinkster to meet Mr. Green? Later that afternoon, Miss Pinkster and Mayor Mo made their way through the crowd of green creatures in Mr. Green's store. Mr. Green, I would like to introduce my neighbor, said Mayor Mo. Miss Pinkster bent her long pink neck down and offered Mr. Green her wing. How do you do? I'm very pleased to meet you, she said. Um, Mayor Mo, may, may I have a word? Asked Mr. Green as he pulled the mayor aside. The word is green. He whispered loudly into the mayor's shiny ear. You may not have noticed, but your neighbor is pink. She's not green. She cannot work in a store called Greens Greens for Greens. She does not go with my decor, my customers, or my Aunt Gertrude. Overhearing this, Miss Pinkster hung her head. Not again, she said with a laugh. The last store didn't hire me because I was too tall. Before, I was turned down because the store owner said she was allergic to feathers. And before that, the store owner didn't trust anyone with a long beak. What is an excellent sales bird to do? Mermo scratched his fur. He wanted to help Miss Pinkster get a job, but he also knew that Mr. Green didn't want anything in his store that wasn't green. What to do? He decided to go to City Hall to see if the counselors could figure this out. Stop and ask yourself, what's the dilemma? Counselors, he said as he pounded his gavel, there's a problem in our city. How can an excellent sales bird get a job selling excellently when she is the wrong color? 
Mr. Green is a businessman who has opened an all green store. Shouldn't he be able to decide who can work there and who can't? What? exclaimed Counselor Bug from just above Mayor Mo's ear. That's not fair. What if all of us refused to work because of our shape, size, or color? No one would get a job. But no one was listening. I think business is business, started Counselor Fuzz flatly. If I run a business, I should be able to make business decisions. A pink bird won't fit into Mr. Green's store. He could lose customers. He shouldn't have to hire her. But who wants customers who don't like the color of the store's sales bird? Asked Counselor Quackley. You are right, joined in Counselor Cuddly. We need a new law. All businesses should have to hire workers who can do the work, no matter what they look like. While the counselors were debating and deliberating, Miss Pinkster waited sadly outside the green store. As she stood there, she saw her friend G.Q. Longnecker, the well-known model and fashion blogging giraffe, strolling by. Can you make a text to world connection or a text to text a text to self connection here? If you think of something, share it with your teacher after the video. GQ, she called. You must come and see this lovely new store. Oh, exclaimed GQ Longnecker, a new store? And it is all green, my favorite color. I must purchase a new scarf to match my lovely green eyes. Miss Pinkster and Mr. Longnecker walked into the store. Four green customers looked up in shock. They put down their green items and hustled out of the door. Oh no, moaned Mr. Green. Now look what you have done. Ooh, look at all the green scarves, cried GQ, ignoring Mr. Green. This is the best collection I've ever seen. I must write it up for the giraffe shopping guide. This could become the most popular store in the city. Indeed, Miss Pinkster responded. Did you know that there are 256 shades of green and that Mr. Green's store has socks to match all the scarves? Let me show you around this lovely store. Mr. Green scratched his emerald head and wondered whether hiring Miss Pinkster would ruin business or help it. So we're left on a cliffhanger. We don't know whether or not Mr. Green will hire Miss Pinkster. Was the, the dilemma solved? Share your perspective with your teacher. What do you think Mr. Green should do? Is equality always fair? Living in a democracy gives us the right to equality, which means that we should all be treated fairly, even though we are all different from one another. Equality means that we each get to be who we are and get to pursue our dreams. Treating people negatively because of something they can't change, such as their race, skin color, gender, age, disability, the kind of family they live in, the languages they speak at home, and other such characteristics can create problems that are very difficult to overcome. But sometimes there may be reasons for distinguishing between people. For example, we divide school classes by age or ability. Some schools or sports teams are only for boys or only for girls. Some schools are only for people who are deaf or blind. Do you think it is ever fair to treat people differently because of their differences? Do you think Counselor Cuddly's idea for a new employment law is fair? And that is where we end.